actually have enough supply there. Now we do anyway. Bad supply. Alright, planning preparations all there. Go. That's more like it. Just gonna shock him and then blitz him. That's what I like to see. <laughs> and they're gonna keep moving in like one or two units to try and defend, but so far, rather inefficiently. Houston is now Mexican. Heavy tanks leading the way. Still can't see Texas. So what I think I might start doing is pulling my red smitherman back into just this Texas area so that they can be here as my reserve in case the Americans do counterattack. means the blues and the yellows are going to be on their own holding this. That's fine. Like, now I've broken into... That's Escobar. That's Solace. That's Solace. Uh, Magana, take over. Now that we've broken into the East Coast, well, Pacific Coast, uh, this is a lot flatter and a lot easier to attack. Although that does go both ways. But again, I have really heavy tanks and mine are really built for killing American divisions right, finish whatever assaults we're doing now and then dig in again like we really have to do a slow take and hold take and hold take and hold because they do have a ridiculous number of divisions uh, yeah, advanced rocket artillery. More bigger booms! Number 3 AA. Don't mind if I do. And we're stealing, whoa, a lot of factories. Okay, so what are we short on? Are we stealing any aluminium from you? No, but I... Hmm. This could just be a massive manpower drain. Sod it. Let's... Oh, I can get rocket interceptors. I only need a short range. How do you compare to my fighter ones? Air attack 47, agility 30. Air attack 17, agility 50. You know what? Let's build some rocket interceptors. Sure. Wait. Do they just cost tungsten? Also, why can I get rocket interceptors? That's why. Rocket interceptor one. I do need to research jet engines to get all of this stuff, though. Um... Because what I wanted to see is what resources are required to build them. Aluminium, tungsten, and rubber. So yeah, we are going to need to import. I think that's acceptable, though. Acceptable risk. And we have enough convoys to try and dodge their blockades. And the further north we push, the less able they are going to be to intercept this. Well, no, because they've still got ports in the Caribbean. It's not true. 
Because, yeah, they're still happening. Well, in that case, yes, I am going to very heavily encourage the manufacture of many, 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 many rocket interceptors. And I will gladly buy in the resources required to do this. The Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Interesting. Brazil we can buy from. And then Dutch East Indies. Let's see how many of those actually get through. Wait until you're done messing around. You've leveled up something. I definitely want you to get organizer because I really want you to get uh what's it called? Logistics wizard. Although actually I want you to get logistics wizard the most. There we go, logistics wizard. Perfect. Supply consumption minus twenty percent for your entire force. Oh go on then. If you insist. Unfortunately, you're mostly a planner. I'd kind of prefer you're a logistics dude, but never mind. And you're going to need the same thing, although you're getting very good at attacking stuff. The Great Grind of 1945. Yep. There we go, level 3 artillery. We'll add to our lines. And we'll get the advanced artillery upgrade. I'm actually a fair bit behind in the artillery. Uh, do we have any more units in training? No. Do we want to have any more units in training? Probably. Wait until these units are in position. We'll wait until the planning prep is done and then we'll push again. Meanwhile, naval battle is growing. 14 subs. Nine days from basic depth charges. Then we can start getting some ships to escort. successfully push. I think you may have. Not what I wanted though. Can I show the template? Yes, I can. That is my template at the moment. Loads and loads of fire support because I've got the uh, direct fire superiority, fire superiority thing. Heavy tanks for the armor. Even more artillery. AA because we have absolutely no air force. And then infantry for the backbone. And actually, now that we're getting more manpower again, we could actually add more. <laughs> the ultimate battle here, folks. G.I. Joe versus G.I. Jose. Very good. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. I was getting complacent. AI is still unreliable. Plug those gaps. Arrgh. Looks like you're going to get pushed back again, but that's fine. Alright, well they are determined to die right here. And I am frankly disposed to allow them to do so. Although I'd really like to take out New Orleans. New Orleans, sorry. Uh, 
They've lost almost 3 million, I've lost 119,000. There's the basic death charge. Good. Unrestricted submarine warfare. So they want to get a little more aggressive. But we have reduced their convoys down to 520. They had about 800 at one point, I think. Let's continue the depth charges upgrades. We'll spend points on that. Now, I'm going to create my new destroyer. You're going to be sonar. You're going to be radar, if and when we research them. AA4. Do we need AA4 here? Yes, I think we do. And there it is, anti-submarine warfare. And your name... is going to be... The King Cole. Sounds like I've used that one before too. Never mind. The King Cole. Save. And now we want to build some King Cole. So we're going to say one more of those. And then I want King Coles. And then we probably... Yeah, we're working on those. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> did the US build that wall? No, I did. I did. And I'm making the Americans pay for it. I suppose you at least have the most modern ships when you do start building a proper navy. Yes, that was kind of the intention, because I never had the capacity to really do it before. And I knew that this war would be won on land, not at sea. Though the sea is helping. And now that the American team just determined to attack me here, I'm kind of tempted to just let them. Advanced firebase. And this is the last of the doctrines. More soft attack, more hard attack, more artillery. Support and line, and allows the breakthrough ability. Unfortunately, it does take 310 days to research. <clears throat> oh, you don't see any hope at all in success. Why is your unit so small? Bar's going to get infantry expert, so he's better at attacking with infantry, because his job is not to defend, it's to attack. Excuse me. Come to that end. We shall attack, seeing as they've left this completely open. Thanks. Appreciate that. Have I got any rocket interceptors? Yes, we do. Well then, I would like to get some planes in here, please. Oh, rocket interceptors can literally only intercept. I mean, I guess the hint's in the name.
In that case, I think I'm only going to want 200. We're going to have to research better planes, and we're also going to have to research uh, Air Force Doctrines. Fourteen ships. That's good. Another convoy. <laughs> we're only sinking like one convoy at a time. But hey, you have to start somewhere. In that case, I am far less interested in these than I was. And I think we will need to get some Quetzalcoatls going. They're going to get shot down in their hundreds. But the beginning of this is going to be earning production towards the newer, better planes. We're having no problem importing. This is really bizarre. I was expecting to be completely blockaded by the Americans. Hasn't happened. How's the uh, Royal Navy doing in the meantime? Uh, still a hundred and something ships. Then again, Germany has that too, and Germany's ships are probably submarines. <laughs> Japan's got like 600. What about Mexican ICBMs? I mean, that's not a bad idea. Overruns with heavy tanks. What on earth are they using then? Oh, really? Three point one million losses. I built Texas yet? Yes! It's got full infrastructure. It's now going to have full repaired infrastructure. So I don't have these supply problems. Hopefully we can force this crossing, because once we've got across, then we can hit them from the south. Though I've just noticed that this line is not reaching the end. Do they consider that to be the end? I don't consider it to be the end of the line. Oh, I guess they stopped us. And now I think that you're on, yeah, you're on too wide a front again. You need to reduce your line to where you are actually operating, which is there. Because the rest of these forces are put there to defend all of this. That's why there's so many here. Then if I absolutely need to, I can leave behind, say, the purple line to hold this and then reduce the number over here again. Do I have all the DLCs? I do indeed, yes. Three point one million killed for one point six thousand lost. Oh sorry, hundred and thirty-six thousand. This is so one sided, it's obscene. It's obscene. Uh modify government, what can I do? Oh air oh, Air Force! Right, for more agile fighters. I forgot I had access to that. <laughs> yeah, I really need to research better planes. And better plane doctrines. Well, we're about to finish the advanced rocket artillery. And the advanced artillery upgrade. And at which point, I think all of the artillery stuff is done. I 
the Americans are determined to push me out of Texas. And now it's the Mexican Alamo. Only this time we win, because we're the Mexicans. And the Mexicans always win the Alamo. Alright, rocket artillery. Two. Which is actually a huge upgrade. Rocket artillery two is really nice. And yeah. Airplanes. Better fighters. Just the number of them, they're just throwing at us. Done. My turn. All I need to do is cross in one spot. All right, and air doctrines. This is the the age-old question: which one? Um, battlefield support, probably. I've come to just not uh, like operational integrity very much. Mexican-American War was started in April 25th, 1846. Next in game year, you can go celebrate the 100th anniversary by taking the land back again. I think I'm gonna do formation flying. I do feel like the um, Air Doctrines could do with another pass, because they're just not that interesting. Especially uh, Operational Integrity. In the same way that uh, Grand Battle Plan really needs another pass, because, wow. Alright, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove you from that line. So you don't try to attack across the river, you only attack down from the river. If we can get a cut off here, that would be even stronger. The Turkish Empire has joined the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity co Sphere. That's nice. Because Italy and German... No, Italy gets a CB against Turkey. I'm astonished that they've not used it. Oh, you can only do it if you befriended Greece, which he didn't. I don't think anything else is going to happen in the world. I think this is literally just going to be me and the Allies versus America, and that's it. Because Japan certainly doesn't seem to be at all interested in going to war with the Germans. Or with the Americans, or with the Allies, in, in, in fact. Time to research paratroopers and marines to get over their lines. Oh, there was a crisis, in fact, brewing. Oh, there was. Why did that happen? Production in several factories has slowed down dramatically over the last few days as workers have declared a strike in all war production, demanding peace and bread. They have so far refused all attempts to negotiate a settlement. Some in the government have adopted a sharp military response, advocated a sharp military response, followed by a swift execution of the ringleaders as enemy agents and traitors. However, others in the civil service have already recommended a more measured approach, pointing out that a heavy handed response may well backfire if the soldiers involved are not as loyal as we thought we were. So we can say this will blow over. Demonstration of military force in the towns. Or more propaganda. Make propaganda heroes out of the people still willing to work. Costs a hell of a lot more. 80% chance of heroes on the production front. I'm going to do that. It's going to be hella expensive to pay for, but... 
not really using their political power for anything else. So just how bad is it? That's pretty bad. 20% resource gain efficiency reduction. 20% consumer goods factories, hence I completely ran out of factories. Factory output minus 20%, dockyard output minus... Um, okay. Especially the consumer goods factories, ouch. In that case, all offensive efforts are to cease immediately. We need to sit on whatever equipment we have and not let any be lost. Five million lost by the Americans. Yep, the communists know how to do a good strike, apparently. It's going to take 80 days. Well, it's going to allow me to get some research done, at least. In fact, we can probably upgrade the King Coal. And we'll call this the King Coal <laughs> B, which is actually his name. King Coal B. And then the King Cole Bees. That's going to be the last of those. Then we're going to build King Cole Bees. And... Put them in Panama. However, any King Cole Bees that we have already built... Oh, that will literally be the first. Um, should then be refitted. Can't buy any steel in. All right, so we need to reorder, reorder these in terms of how much we need those items. So we need all three of these. We need heavy tanks. So yeah, it's just the guns that we don't need quite so much of, so we can reduce our reliance on that steel. That's fine. In fact, rocket interceptors, quite frankly, are interested in it anymore. Although I guess they do stop enemy bombing runs. Wow, you guys are actually being beaten. Um, well, how about we drop a an infamous last stand, eh? What are you doing in terms of skills? None for a while. Same. You've leveled up. And you are also a defensive one, so we're going to make you ambusher, I think. You've still not got any. Really? Where are you? You're in the central part. You're frequently being attacked. In fact, you're pushing somehow through the Rockies. And you haven't leveled up at all? Well, you're getting skills. I guess you're just not getting enough of one to level up in. You've not done anything. Your army is titchy. You recently leveled up. And there's Escobar. Escobar. 